But I think a lot of people go through the same thing. The late twenties, it's it's kind of like a quarter life crisis yeah. where you. You know, right after college, you have a few years where you're kind of still in that college mindset, you know, wanting to go out a bunch, not really taking your work seriously. And then you wake up one day and you're, you know, 27, 28, 29. You're like, OK, so what's yeah. what's the plan here? What's yeah. what's what, what am I going to do? Like, what is if you don't have a set? I was always jealous of people who went to school for like engineering or something. And it's like, you know, you're going you to be an engineer and you're going to get, you know, a job at an engineering firm, you're going to work your way up, and it's all kind of right in front of you. For a lot of people, when they don't really under know what they want to do, that that crisis kind of hits, and you're mm -hmm. like, all right, what makes me happy, and what what can I do? Mm -hmm. So, I yeah, I think a lot of people go to – I think that's a very relatable yeah. moment in your late 20s where you're yeah. like, what's what's the plan here? Well, I mean, at I went to law school for four days. and I Oh, paid, you actually went? Yeah, I paid – So you were a Fordham attendee? I, have my, I still have my student ID. So, when you introduce yourself, you should be like Fordham, not Harvard, because that's the most recent college you went to. Yeah, yeah, right? I know. Right? I know. No, I, I mean, know. I think that's place. Like, Is that that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I think I it's whichever one you went to most recently. What you're supposed to do. Uh, so no. Wait, so you went to classes. So yeah. You paid. I paid. I paid a deposit, which was two thousand dollars. Ironically, oh. same yeah. exact amount that you you paid for your GMAT. Yeah, prep yeah. Course. yeah. And uh, that was sort of to hold my spot in the class. And for that first week, they had told you it was sort of like a, you know, a shopping. You know, you get to sort of see what the what the coursework is going to be like. And my entire process towards it had been one of, well, I don't really know what I want to do with my life. So I think law school will give me a lot of options. Uh, and there mm. were a lot of people I admired who had gone to law school, but who were not lawyers. Okay. You know, at that time, Obama. Uh, for example, that was what you were going for. Well, like, <laughs> president knew, of the United States. I knew many he'd been, presidents. What the fuck? I knew he'd, he'd been a lawyer, but he'd also been a, like a community leader. <laughs> like you could go into politics. Yeah, I'm on the Obama path. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Well, you know that guy uh, Obama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of following like, in his I mean, footsteps a little it bit. Just, it, there were a lot of great examples of people that were not lawyers, but who had gone to law school so i thought it gave you a lot of optionality and uh sure enough as soon as i arrived every single professor there that was giving us these lectures and things their entire rhetoric was one of you will be a lawyer you're being trained to be a lawyer right. and that was a huge wake-up call for me because i was like i don't know that i want to be a lawyer was that a thrill though like dropping out you're a fordham dropout yeah. Wow. It was you are a Fordham dropout. It was very <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Harvard, you're a Fordham dropout. You couldn't, you couldn't hang in the Bronx. In the Bronx? Oh yeah. It wasn't even the, it wasn't okay. even the Bronx. It was their like satellite campus in Columbus Circle uh, or whatever. Okay, all right. Lincoln Center. Um, yeah. Lincoln Center, yeah. But uh you know, I remember I remember like they told us which textbooks we'd have to buy and they were super expensive. And also I knew that in terms of law school tuition, I was going to have to take student loans right. and uh, stuff like that. And it was the night before uh, we had to pay our first semester's tuition, which I think was like – it was you paid for the fall semester, and I think it was like $26,000. And I was just looking at that, and I was super torn, and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm not ready to make a decision this huge. Right. And I, I was, I, I don't know that I was ready to say I don't want to do it, but I was definitely less ready to say I do want to do this. Mm. No, you, I mean, you can't hang with Fordham. <laughs> that was, that's pretty clear. <laughs> yeah. You saw the big dogs and you're like, not for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. No, that's, that's, that had to be a thrill though. Like I remember I, it is very. A not, relief. Yeah. Not, it was not, a huge not, relief. Not close to it, but, but uh, on a similar wavelength, I remember, uh, I think it was either freshman or sophomore year. At Wisconsin, I went to – I tried to do an accounting class because I was like, oh, I should probably learn how to, like, do numbers. I walked in first day. They showed something on the big screen. Then they're like, this class is graded on a curve. And I just got my shit and walked out. And I was like, not for me. Like, I know I can't, I can't beat the curve. I'm a fucking moron. So, like, that's a thrill, though. Just be like, there's something nope. – people need to, to realize, like, quitting shit is kind of fun. And it's, it's good to know when you're like – 
like Francis, like the intellects of Fordham were way bigger than him. Like he can't handle that. That's right. Just being like, you know what? No moss throwing the white towel. I don't want to cut do your this. losses sometimes. Yeah. 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 Don't start live betting yeah. when the odds get worse yeah. and worse. You know, mm-hmm. got to yes. cut your losses. So it's a good life lesson. Yeah, Francis Absolutely. couldn't hang at Fordham. We. You shouldn't hilarious. have told me that. <laughs> I still have that idea. I love this. I still have it. 